But then I get all messed up in my head. For example, Kendall has his first fist fight with Jab. He comes home, he's jacked up. Now I need to say to women right now, when I say jacked up, he's not physically hurt. Because the women immediately say jacked up. Well, what happened to me? Is all right? That's not what the men in the room are thinking. They're saying jacked up. They say, oh man, his son lost. They ain't even thinking about him. I said he's six years old. Men, men don't care about that. Women are saying, oh, is he all right? Well, he wasn't physically hurt. This is for the women. He wasn't physically hurt. His feelings was hurt, terrible, and he was a mess. He's crying, it's not running out of his nose. He wiped the snot from his nose, then he wiped the tears from his eyes, and no time flat, his whole face is full of snot. <laughs> He's hiccuping, he can't talk, trying to get him to explain and he was going on and he can't talk. Then all of a sudden he couldn't stand up and he was going down and holding him up so he got a face full of snot. He hiccup in and he can't stand up. I'm looking at him, I'm like saying, damn. That's my son. <laughs> And then I kind of like, for a few minutes, I just lost my mind. My first thought, it was a very, very fleeting thought. Didn't stay with me long at all, but got to tell the truth. My first thought was, I'm going to go outside, I'm going to find Javid, y'all know the rest. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, a fleeting thought. My second thought, what stayed with me, with me for a little while was, I'm going to go find his father. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to bust him up. <laughs> and I don't like him anyway, and he don't like me. And very, very important and key to the man box is, I also know I could take him. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't live like that, so I couldn't do that either. So my options are limited. So now I'm running around the house, got a phone book out, we're gonna send him to karate school, we're gonna put a gym in the basement, we're gonna teach him how to box. And my wife is looking at me and she's like, she says to me, what's wrong with you? Why don't you just take them next door and let them make up? <laughs> Feeling me, Larry? <laughs> and I'm like, that only happened if you won the fight. You don't do that if you lost the fight. I'm envisioning jabbing, and his dad may be coming across my lawn right now, coming to my house. You know? And they're walking across the lawn, and his dad is saying to him, Did you give him that one two that I taught you? He said, Yeah, Dad, you should have seen it. He says, okay, be quiet, be quiet, stop laughing. We're getting ready to knock on the door. You know, I'm envisioning that. <laughs> right? That's what I see. So she's telling me, take them next door, let them make up. All right, so I'm dragging him because he can't walk. <laughs> Kendall would hate if he knew I told this story, right? I'm dragging him because he can't walk. I didn't do nothing right that day. Within two hours, they was back outside playing like nothing never happened. But I didn't do nothing right that day because that thing impacted on me in a way that I shared with the men in the room just to make a connection on, on what we're talking about and try to make myself transparent. I don't share it at all because I'm proud of it. I wish I did something more like what Pierre was talking about, but I did but I didn't. I got so caught up in him being an image of me and things that weren't good that I was, you know, that I learned coming up as a boy that I don't want for him, that I don't want for him at all. But that day I, did, I didn't handle it right that day. So outside the box. Let me ask a question to the men in this room. 
this guy here, he just broke up with his girlfriend. They broke, she broke up with him. That's a picture of her in his hands and it's torn in half, right? Torn in half, you know, the, the visual there is that she broke up with him, all right? And so you see he's crying, he kind of looked like this guy. They in the <laughs> same boat there, right? You can put either one of them in that picture, right? Now, as men, what have we been taught? He's your buddy, or he's your son, or he's just a young man, you know, or whatever. What, what have we been taught to tell him? He's your buddy. What you been taught to tell him? Not you, but what have men been taught? Suck it up, right? What have we been taught to tell? Get over it. What have we been taught? Huh? Same two they said. Same two they said. You, so you, you're not stepping out there no more. You done with me for the night? <laughs> All right. What have we been taught? Get over it. There's other women. Get over it. There's other women. There's more what in the sea? Fish. 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 That's what the older guys. There's more fish in the sea. What have you been taught? It's like waiting for a bus. There's another bus coming. <laughs> There's another bus coming. Straighten yourself out. Look at you. You're a mess. Get yourself together. Jesus, look at you. Young men say to you, just come on, let's go to the club. Huh? Oh, my girlfriend Sarah, she got a lonely sister that's definitely looking to meet somebody. Come on, let me take you over and introduce you to her. That's what we say. That's what we say. But check this out. If it was your daughter that he broke up with, would you want or would you have wanted her to have been with a man that on the day they break up goes to the club and gets another girl? Would you have wanted that to have been the man that was with your daughter? That just like that, Going to the club, suck it up, get another one, move on, more fish in the sea. Just like at the bus stop, there's another bus coming. No, we wouldn't want that for our daughters. We would want him to go through some feelings because if he goes through feelings, that says what? He cared about my daughter. But yet and still, the way we're taught is just get another one. Matter of fact, you should have seen it coming. So since you've seen it coming, what you do is you go over here and you set things up over here with Jane. All right? So that way, just as she's about to say, you know what? I think I'm going to break up with you. Just as she's about to say, you can say, hey, it's quit. I'm going with Jane. All right? Take control of the situation. Don't show no feelings. Don't show no emotions. Just go get another one. So if we can just go get another one, well then what are we saying about ourselves in relationship with the women we're partnering with? If we could just go get another one. And do you see then further the connection between how is it these guys do what they do to women in the presence of all of us? And we can just go get another one. I remember when I grew up, we would tell, we would say this guy, his nose is wide open is how we would say it. And he shouldn't allow himself to happen. But see what he did? He allowed himself to be vulnerable. He allowed himself to show his feelings. And we would actually define that as he got caught out there. He got caught out there. All right? And if it happened, now we just got to show him how to fix it so it doesn't happen again. <laughs>